In this video, we will be talking about platyhelminthes, or more commonly known as flatworms. What is a flatworm? A flatworm is a living organism that falls under the kingdom Animalia, the phylum platyhelminthes, and the classes Turbellaria, Monogonia, Trematoda, and Cestoidea. Turbellaria is a class of flatworms that has over 3,000 species. This class is most known for its aquatic organisms. Monogonia, the second class of flatworms, are parasites. They live in one host, such as a fish, frog, turtle, or squid, for their entire life. Whereas a trematoda, which is very similar to a monogonia, must live in two or more hosts during its lifetime because its developmental needs are different than its adult needs. The class Cestoidea, whose dominant member is the tapeworm. The organisms in this class spend their life in a vertebrate host. They cling to the intestinal wall to get nourishment. Evolution of the flatworm. Flatworms evolved from hydras approximately 550 million years ago. Normally animals evolved to be more complex, but the flatworm degenerated from complex animals. Physical features of a flatworm. Flatworms are similar to earthworms, except they're unsegmented. They're symmetrical through the long axis of the body, and they are brightly colored to let predators know that they are toxic. They can range from microscopic to many feet long. All organisms in this phylum are composed of three fundamental cell layers. They are bilaterally symmetrical and they are invertebrates. Reproduction. Flatworms are hermaphrodites, which means they can produce both eggs and sperm. They can reproduce asexually by splitting themselves in half, and each half grows to become a functioning flatworm. To find out more about reproduction of a flatworm, watch the following link. Environment About half of flatworms are free-living species, which means they live in marine or fresh bodies of water. The other half are parasitic, meaning they live in a body of a host species. Anatomy of a flatworm. A flatworm does not have a skeleton. They have two nerve cords running down either side of their body connecting to their brain. They also have two eye spots at either side of their head region that can sense light. A flatworm does not have a respiratory or circulatory system. Since they are so thin, they can take in oxygen directly through their skin. What do flatworms eat? Parasitic flatworms feed on nutrients of their host. Non-parasitic flatworms eat smaller worms, bacteria, and smaller animals and are eaten by water bugs, fish, and beetles. Flatworms have one opening that they consume food and excrete waste through. Well-known flatworms. The beef tapeworm is the most common in humans and are found in raw beef. The pork tapeworm is found in raw pork and can cause epilepsy if lodged into the brain. The dog tapeworm is found in dogs with poor hygienic habits, and the macrostomids live in marine or fresh water, which makes them a common class of flatworm. Purpose in the ecosystem. Flatworms help to maintain a healthy population of algae and plankton. Fun phylum facts. Flatworms can glide over surfaces, they can shrink down to their original hatching size, they can wrap their body around prey and pin it to the ground, and scientists have been able to train flatworms to perform small tasks. Thanks for watching! Created using Paltoon.